Hey guys, well today I want to show you guys another Hallmark ornament, Star Trek related. Um, this one is from Deep Space Nine. This actually is the USS Defiant designation NX74205. A little bit of history about the Reliant, excuse me, the Defiant. Um, it was taken, its name after the USS Defiant from the original series. Um, you remember the Tholian web. It even has the same kind of throwback lettering to the starship, the designation and the registry markings have that black lettering where everything else post refit of the Enterprise has the font, black font with the red outline. Um, this ship was actually designed as a weapon against the Borg. Um, Captain Sisko had helped in its, well, refining. And it was thought that the ship was too powerful for its own good because it's basically a warp drive and weapons array. And that's all there is. I guess they figured instead of the big bulky galaxy class starships, they had the small, speedy, highly efficient, very potent ship. Um, it ended up needing to be used to defend Deep Space Nine, so it was kind of like a permanent docking over there. Um, I guess the threats that they had in Deep Space Nine, like the Dominion, the Cardassians, you know, required a ship to be stationed there full time. And interestingly, Mr. Worf actually moves his quarters to the Defiant and he eventually is the captain. We do see the, the, the Defiant um, battle the Borg um, and she eventually is destroyed and a similar ship is renamed the Defiant but that's another story. Anyway this is Hallmark Keepsake Ornament USS Defiant the Magic Series and again I'm putting pictures up to show you guys And let's see if there's a date. This is star dated 1997, handcrafted. A little bit of history about this ornament. A unique ornament. This powerful ship is permanently stationed at Deep Space Nine. Perhaps the most exciting post in the quadrant. The blinking light signal a greeting from the crew, adding a bit of keepsake magic to your holiday. Lights blink automatically and continuously. And again, with the instructions, um, with the other ships I've shown you, use only with standard UL listed miniature light strings of 2.5, 3.5, or 6 volt push in type bulbs. Plug in to any socket on the light string. Not for use with blinking bulbs. And you can see the little illustrations and when it was handcrafted. Again, I'm going to put photos up for you guys so you don't have to look at my shaking hands. This is the Magic Series. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to open it up and show you what she looks like. Of course, Deep Space Nine, um, well, my favorite is the original series of Star Trek. I never really got into Deep Space Nine, but a good friend of mine said that you got to start watching, it gets a lot better after season three, which incidentally is the season where the Defiant shows up, if I'm not mistaken has the bubble wrapping. Put it out for you. Move this back. And again, as with the ships I've shown you so far, it's got the plug that plugs into the tree lights and the instructions. And if you've noticed, all the ships that I've shown you, um, one thing that's pretty interesting 
is the year is always stamped somewhere on it. In this case, they only put the last two digits, the 9 and the 7 from 1997. You can see the registry markings. And like the others, this detail is very, very cool on this little ship. Well, Commander Riker said, it's a tough little ship. And Mr. Worf would say, little. The design is interesting because it's got the, the nacelles are actually attached to the main body. The Bassard collectors are at the front. And the bridge is basically surrounded by the engines. The ship itself has four decks, so it's not very large. You can see where the hook goes. Again, the, um, the detailing is very good. And like I had said, she was later destroyed by the Breen. It would be replaced with a similar ship, kind of like the way the Enterprise refit was replaced by the A. And it's a different uh, kind of shape. Incidentally, this ship actually cloaks. So it's got a cloaking device on the ship as well. And when it comes to Federation ships that cloaks, um, let's see, the Enterprise, when they took it from the Romulans originally, she was cloaked for a little while. Um, um, if I'm not mistaken, the Pegasus, the ship Commander Riker formerly served on, was working on a cloaking device that cloaked inside of the asteroid. Um, and this one. This one was actually a fully functioning cloaking device, a Federation ship. Again, you can see the detail. So that being said, we'll go ahead and we'll put her on a tree, we'll light her up, and I'll show you guys what she okay, does. so we got her on a tree, got her lit up. It's pretty cool. You can see the, uh, the nacelles light, the fronts of the nacelles. And they have the flashing lights on the back. The engines are lit. This is actually a really cool um, ornament. You can see the lights in the front some of the windows. I'll try to zoom in for you. Again, the detail on the ship is amazing. You can see there's the front light up. Yep, the front lights up, if I can get it in for you. The sensor collector. So that, my friends, is the USS Defiant. The only f ship in Starfleet, well, as of the Deep Space Nine timeline, that can cloak. I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.